Good morning, welcome back to another video. I'm up super early on this Sunday morning and I wanted to quickly explain the reason and sort of the backstory to today's video. So back in 2011, a really talented and upcoming uh, British superbike rider who lived in Southport, which as you know is, is really close to me, and unfortunately he was killed racing. So I'm heading over to Southport today to partake in their annual charity ride. Now it's to raise money for the Ben Gautry Foundation, which to put it simply, every year raises money and then they disperse that money to promising young athletes to help them achieve their dreams. It's a really really cool project and as soon as I heard any mention about this I just knew I had to go and do it today so that's kind of the backbone to today's video but it's about a 45 minute ride over to Southport I need to be there at half eight it's like super early at the minute I'm just running completely off coffee I might even have another one before I set off All right, just heading out to Southport now. Like I mentioned before, it's like a 45 minute ride away, but I'm trying to find a cash machine on route because I forgot to get some money out to pay. And so far I haven't managed to find one. It's about 7.30 and I'm out on my bike. I absolutely love coming out early just because the roads are so quiet. Like I'm on a main road here, just no cars around. So quiet, so peaceful. All right, found a garage. Hey, found one. So I thought today was going to be a kind of a steady club run type pace, but so far my average power has been 225 watts. It's not that steady. Just rolling back up to the start finish now. It was actually a lot quicker than we thought it was. I thought it was going to be 50 miles, but it's actually only 50 kilometers. But it was a great ride nonetheless, and a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Faster. Oh. <laughs> Just on my way home now, decided to stick a bit of an extra loop on to add some more miles. We're up to about three hours, it'll be about three and a half by the time we get home. It feels good today to do that ride and to support a local charity, especially one as good as that. It's helping the development of young athletes reach their potential in sport. It's a great cause, I'll drop the link down below to the website where you can check out the whole of the foundation and what they get up to. Okay, so I think Strava might be broken. So yesterday's ride, the latest kudos was from Ryan Lee. Shout out to Ryan Lee. But it also says that 311 other riders gave you kudos. But when we click on that ride, and the ride itself only says we got 234 kudos. Strava, what are you playing at? Sort your sh** out. It's a pretty nice afternoon, the weather's good, it's warm. So I'm heading down to meet Ryan and Maddie and a few of us, get some food. And then after that, I think I'm gonna meet up with Mike and then we're gonna do some more exploring. There's no concrete plan set in place yet, but either way, I think it's gonna be a good afternoon. So this is where we're getting food. We're at Hesca Farms in uh, Southport. It looks nice, but I've never actually been here before. All right, update time. Back in the car now, just had food, it was great. I had an asparagus risotto, but now I'm currently on my way to meet up with Michael. Mike, I've got one question for you. Is today's going to be more successful than the other day? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't take much. So yeah, the other day we went to an old school, an old abandoned school, which rumour has it, rumour has it Johnny Vegas went there. If you haven't watched that video, click either here or here, click the eye and go and watch that video. I highly recommend doing that. But it wasn't very successful. We couldn't get in. There was security everywhere, so we just binned it off. But we're back here today at a place called Wynn Stanley Hall. And we're a little bit more confident that today's going to be successful. Drowning in the rain. Everybody's watching, I don't feel the pain Numb to all distractions, your face is all I see And those moonlit eyes, girl, they're looking back at me So we're not entirely sure what this place used to be Stick. What are you doing? We're not entirely sure what this place used to be We, we know it's a 16th century building owned by some old, like rich Tudor guy, that's about it. Finally made it, we've walked through some woods, a fence, a field, a dirt track, and now we're here.
Wow. There's just a huge statue of Neptune in the middle of this courtyard. Insane. <laughs> so we're not actually breaking an entry because the door was open, we just pushed it. But it looks like everything's been taken out of here. There's no furniture left, nothing. It's literally just So this is the main house now. This one isn't as easy to get in. All the doors have got like this steel mesh on it there is one window here that we can get through however the floor is dropped through so it's probably not the best idea to go through that way what do we reckon mike are we getting in uh i'm gonna go with no we found the front door of the building no one's home so after seeing mike's drone set up i think i seriously need to up my game we've got a box here it's designed for the mavic an ipad mate are you pro uh no i'm probably less pro than you can <laughs> 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 Why do you use an iPad? Uh, mainly because I have an Android phone and the app for the Android is absolutely awful. Yeah, so. and I suppose it's a bigger screen, it's easier to see everything. Alright, we're going to take an L on getting in that building behind me, the main house or the main building. We did manage to get inside all of these buildings. But I think they're just outbuildings, hence why there was probably not any normal living things inside them. I wanna fall for you this, this, I wanna fall for you Got these feelings of distress Got me bleeding out my chest When Do you think worrying will end? Never worry here again It's alright It's alright right. Started to lose some lights We're going to head back now We've got about a 15 minute walk back to the car Pretty successful night Except we had one slight Minor is a dead the remains of a dead bird. Anyway, we had one we had one slight minor issue. I twisted my ankle. It's progressively getting worse. I think it'll be okay though. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna get home, probably put some ice on it. Thanks for watching. Ankle's not looking too good right now. I've got it elevated, I've got some ice, and the pain's really starting to kick in now. I feel like I may have done more damage than I first thought. 